Welcome to Fantasy Fanfiction, Ancient Martial Ancestor. Chapter 41. Does the human race need a co-lord? Need. As the saying goes, a snake cannot survive without a head. If a race wants to develop stably and rapidly, it must have a leader and a person in charge. Even the past life needs to be corrected. Otherwise, it will be a mess, chaotic and disorderly. But in Tang Wu's mind, the co-dominance of the human race began with the three sovereigns and five emperors, not now. It is said that the three emperors ruled the world and the five emperors established their destiny. The three emperors and the five emperors ushered in the era of co-dominance of the human race. So Tang Wu's first reaction was to refuse. But these leaders have obviously discussed it and are determined to make Tang Wu the big leader and co-leader. The current human race does not have so many selfish motives, they are all dedicated to the continuation and prosperity of the human race. Wu, please don't refuse. This position of leader belongs to you, and it is your responsibility. Lei still spoke well. He spoke of this great leadership as a responsibility, not a right. If Tang Wu does not accept it, it is shirking responsibility. Yes, just accept it. Feng Yi persuaded. This made Tang Wu hesitate. Because the human race wants to develop rapidly and break the implication of the Lich War as much as possible, a common leader is very much needed. However, he doesn't really want to be the big leader because the responsibility is really too heavy. He was afraid that he would not be able to carry it and would not be able to do it well. Meet the big leader. Perhaps seeing Tang Wu's hesitation, the others looked at each other and immediately wore yellow robes. Cook raw rice into cooked rice without giving Tang Wu a chance to refuse. It seems that I can't refuse. In this case, I will accept the position of leader. At worst, after the Lich War, I will resign as co-leader and surrender to the three sovereigns and five emperors. Tang Wu looked at the people who had already saluted, quietly after thinking for a while, he decided to accept the position of leader. Okay, since everyone trusts me so much, I will do my best for the prosperity of the human race and never disappoint everyone's expectations. Tang Wu, officially accepted the position of the leader, which can also be said to be the co-leader. Okay, ha ha ha, dot see the big boss. Everyone saluted again, this time formally. Boom. The sky was clear and thunderbolt struck, and the sky recognized Tang Wu's identity as the co-leader of the human race. Then. There are merits again. Is this human race the biological son of heaven? Azure Dragon, who is far away in the East Pole, is always paying attention to the human race. Due to his cultivation and character, he couldn't help but curse. This is too much. The Azure Dragon was swearing, and the Dragon King of the Four Seas was even more unbearable. He stared at the human territory in shock. Brother, I don't think we need to think about it anymore. South China Sea Dragon King Ao Ming swallowed, his voice almost trembling. I think so too. This human race will definitely be immeasurable in the future. Ao Shun, Dragon King of the West Sea, nodded numbly. Brother, agree. Maybe we will need to rely on the human race in the future. North Sea Dragon King Ao Ji was more direct. Yes, the human race does need dragon race protection now. But how long this time can last, he has no idea. Because the human race is developing very fast, especially looking at Tiandao's posture, he is closer to the human race than his own son. What did the humans do? Didn't you just recommend a big leader? Just this, return merit, that race doesn't have a leader or king. However, which race have you seen achieve merit? Okay, we agree. The dragon king of the East China Sea was also shocked and dizzy. This human race is going to defy the heavens. But they were still very happy because the relationship between dragon race and the human race was very strong. Moreover, dragon race is connected to the luck of the human race. The better the human race is, the better dragon race will be. Dragon race is happy, which makes the Phoenix clan and Kilin clan, both of the innate clan, envious. On this day, Fengsu, who was suppressing the undead active volcano in the south, suddenly let out a loud phoenix cry from the Antarctic. The Kilin clan at the foot of Bujo Mountain also started discussions. Especially the White Tiger family is very active. Today, the four extremities of heaven and earth are not perfect. Only Azure Dragon guards the East Pole, Fengsu guards the South Pole, and White Tiger guards the West Pole. As for the North Pole, no one is currently guarding it. 
The reason why the West Pole is guarded by white tigers, not Kirin. The main reason is that Kilin's losses were too heavy, and the two ancestors of Kilin, Chizu and Lin Zhu, all died. The Kilin clan has almost lost all its powerful men, and there is no powerful man capable of guarding the West Pole. The White Tiger clan, the strongest under the Kilin clan, had to take over this huge cause and effect and guard the West Pole. At this time, Tang Wu and all other races were also confused. Is there any merit in this? Tang Wu felt incredible. Isn't it too obvious to turn on a small stove? But Heavenly Dao doesn't care what they think, it will still be given. Although the merits are much less than before, they are still very enviable. The merit is divided into three parts, Tang Wu alone gets one third, the other 48 leaders get one third, and all races get one third. The human race, for once, got the benefit. It's the human race again. The other powerful men opened their eyes and took a look, then closed their eyes again. Already numb. Only monster race Tianting and Sanqing felt very uneasy at this time. Monster race heaven is envious, jealous, and very angry at the same time. And Lao Tzu, one of the three pure ones, continues to deduce. He had a whim and his heart was full of excitement. It seems that this human race has a great relationship with me, a great cause and effect. Tang Wu didn't know this. What he was thinking about now was how to provide a stable environment for the human race. He created a technique that can be practiced to the Taiyi Golden Immortal level, and humans need time to practice it. Perhaps, the power of the four phases and the five directions and five virtues are a good choice. Tang Wu planned in his mind. The power of the four phases and the five directions and five virtues were actually created by Tang Wu's vision of the four extremities of heaven and earth. In the previous life of China, Azure Dragon, White Tiger, Vermilion Bird, and black tortoise were the four elephants that guarded the four directions of the human race and were the four phases of the human race. And coupled with the central earth virtue Kilin, there are five directions and five virtues. There is overlap, but they represent two different forces. However, four extremities is different from four phases. Four phases are part of four extremities, but four extremities are not four phases. For example, vermilion bird is a southern fire sign and belongs to the Antarctic. However, Antarctica and Fengsu guarding Antarctica are not the four phases. Tang Wu's idea is to combine Azure Dragon, White Tiger, Vermilion Bird and Black Tortoise into four phases to complete the human race. Then Kilin is used to guard the center, and together with the four phases, it forms the five directions and five virtues. In this way, the human race will be much more stable. Therefore, Tang Wu is going to let Dragon Race introduce him to these races. He believes that dragon race will agree, because this can also share the pressure of dragon race. After all, facing monster race alone, dragon race is too powerful. The four phases and the five directions and five virtues can, on the one hand, deepen the relationship between the human race and the dragon, phoenix, unicorn, white tiger, and black tortoise clan, and on the other hand, they can also perfect the way of heaven. Tang Wu estimates that there will be a wave of merit by then. But before Tang Wu could take action, someone reported a strange old man from outside the tribe. Strange old man, coming to the human race. Tang Wu was surprised. This is the prehistoric era, and those who can come to the human race are definitely not ordinary people. Otherwise, they would be bitten on the way, and they would not be able to come to the human race at all. As for the elders of other tribes, it is even more impossible. Nowadays, there are many crises everywhere, and the old people of the human race will basically not leave the tribe. Not sure who it was, Tang Wu decided to take a look. When he walked out of the tribe, he saw an old man with childish face and white hair and bright spirit in the tribe, looking at the tribe and the pedestrians coming and going. At first glance, there is nothing special about this old man, but upon closer inspection, it seems like smoke and mirrors, and it is completely unclear what the old man looks like. The more I try to see clearly, the less clearly I see. It seems to be always shrouded in a layer of fog, hazy and mysterious. This old man is not simple. Could it be? Tang Wu suddenly felt something in his heart and thought of the possible identity of the person coming. However, he was not sure yet and needed to test it. Tang Wu, the leader of the human race, has met my father-in-law. I wonder why I have come to the human race to do this. 
Tang Wu politely saluted as a junior, and then asked very kindly. The old man who was originally sizing him up turned back to look at Tang Wu. You can achieve Tai scattered immortal in just a thousand years. This little guy is extremely talented. The old man did not answer, but sighed. This old man has an extraordinary status and has seen as many geniuses as sand in the Ganges. But there aren't many things he can praise. Tang Wu also had some guesses about the old man's identity, so he didn't feel that the old man was relying on his old age. My father-in-law gave me a reward, I don't know. Tang Wu wanted to continue asking, but was interrupted by the old man. My surname is Li Ming-er, I was just passing by. I was just curious to find out that the human race was prosperous, so I came to have a look at the human race. He said with a smile while stroking his beard. Yes, this person is heavenly venerable, the future saint. He may not know that his identity has been exposed, but Tang Wu already knows it very well. However, Tang Wu felt that this might not be Lao Tzu's true form, but an incarnation. Tang Wu also had a rough guess as to his purpose of coming. As for what he said about passing by, Tang Wu didn't believe even a single punctuation mark. Maybe he's aware of it now, but he's not sure yet. So let the incarnation come to the human race and see if the human race is the opportunity for him to become a saint. When I return this incarnation, it may be time for me to come to the human race to establish the human religion and become the saint of Taiching. And as the saint of Taiching became a saint, what followed was the saint era when all the saints came out. Next, the dispute will begin again. Although Tang Wu wanted the human race to have a stable environment, there was nothing he could do about this fate. And even if a dispute comes, it has nothing to do with the human race for the time being. My father-in-law can come to the human race as a guest, and the human race is flourishing. The leader of the human race, Tang Wu, represents the human race, and welcomes my father-in-law. Please, please come in. Tang Wu sighed in his heart, but on the surface he was still enthusiastic, and invited me to be a guest in the tribe. After all, even if it is the incarnation of Lao Tzu, it does not necessarily represent Lao Tzu. It can also be said that he is Lao Tzu. Therefore, Tang Wu could not shut him out. Moreover, Tang Wu is ready to trick me once. Ha ha, little friend, you are so polite. I won't sit down, I just have a request that I hope you can agree to. I smiled all over my face and was very satisfied with Tang Wu's attitude. I wonder what my father-in-law wants. If you can do it, I will have no obligation to do so. Tang Wu's chest clapped loudly, and he looked as sincere as he wanted. This is a great guy, with thick thighs. Moreover, there is also the possibility of becoming the human race's money-giving boy, and Tang Wu is already ready for him to jump into. Of course, be enthusiastic. Ha ha. It's not necessary. I just hope that the big leader will allow me to build a hut in the human race. I chuckled and stated my purpose. Tang Wu also understands this. He just wants to observe the human race closely. Naturally, Tang Wu would not refuse this, and there was nothing to refuse. If you want to watch it, then watch it. In fact, in the original trajectory, I would also let the incarnation come to the human race, and would also live next to the human race. However, he will not ask for the consent of the human race. Although I rule by doing nothing, I am still a quasi-sage at the apex level between heaven and earth. The human race is not qualified to reject him. But it's different now. The human race has a big leader, which is equivalent to having a king. If he lives in a small house without asking permission, it is equivalent to occupying territory without saying hello. It would be very embarrassing if he was driven away by the leader of the human race. Although he can destroy this great leader of the human race, he can even destroy the human race. However, I lost my face. Therefore, he would rather go the extra mile. He believed that the human race would not reject him. Sure enough, when Tang Wu heard this, he immediately patted his chest and said, I don't know what it is. It turns out it's just a trivial matter. The human race has a lot of open space, please feel free to do it. That's annoying. I smiled slightly, then walked to the former open space, waved my hand, and a thatched house immediately appeared on the spot. Looking at Lao Tzu's methods, Tang Wu was still a little envious. This is the difference between a cultivator and a martial artist. Relatively speaking, the martial artist's methods are much simpler. 
The mortal cultivators have an endless array of spells, but martial artists only have one. Use 10,000 ways to nourish my way, and use one method to defeat all methods. Almost any moderately accomplished immortal cultivator can do this method of waving his hands to build a house. But even if Tang Wu became Tai Yi scattered immortal, he would naturally not be able to do it. However, envy is envy, and Tang Wu will not change his original intention. Marshal Dao will never change himself. I am staying in the human race and have caused trouble to the big leader. From now on, please don't mind the big leader. I transformed into a thatched hut and stroked my beard and said with a smile. What are you talking about? This is the honor of my human race. If I have other organizations, you can tell me. If I come from afar, I won't bother you. Tang Wu knew that I was not here to talk nonsense to him. But here to observe the human race. Therefore, he did not ask for trouble and said goodbye to me in a sensible manner. Then leave time to me, and he can watch whatever he wants. If the big boss has something to do, please go ahead and take care of it. You're welcome. This is Lao Tzu who governs by doing nothing. If it were Yuan Shi Heavenly Venerable, he would have been so arrogant and dismissive of Tang Wu. After leaving Taiching Laozi, Tang Wu's expression immediately changed. The original smile disappeared and a sneer appeared on his face. Want to establish a human religion to become a saint? Ask me first if I agree. Tang Wu was not interested in the supreme being. In the original trajectory of the prehistoric times, Taishang Laozi established the human religion, saying that it was to educate the human race. But what did he do? He used the human race to become a saint, but after he became a saint, he turned a blind eye to the human race. Not to mention protecting the humans when they were in danger, even when monster race slaughtered the humans to refine the witch slaying sword, he didn't even say a word. He said he would educate the human race, but he only accepted one disciple, the great master Xuandu of the human race. Although the 3000 word, Dao Te Ching, was later left behind, it can be seen that there was no sincerity. He didn't do it at all to civilize the human race. Lao Tzu's becoming a saint is determined by heaven, and Tang Wu can't stop it. However, if he wants to continue to use the human race like the original track and ignore it, then Tang Wu will not agree to it. Don't even think about establishing a human religion without spilling some blood. Originally, when Tang Wu was not the co-leader of the human race, it might have been more troublesome. But now that he has become the co-leader of the human race, what he says represents the human race. If he does not recognize Lao Tzu, I will not be able to establish human religion. Want to establish a human religion and become a saint? We must take on the responsibility of being the leader of the human religion. Even though he is so enthusiastic about me now, he is just digging a hole and waiting for me to jump into it. Then Tang Wu ignored him and quietly waited for Dragon Race's reply. And I am not idle either. I hang around the Wu tribe whenever I have something to do. Every move of the human race is in his mind. Hold head high. A month later, Dragon Race came. And it's not just one or two people coming, but hundreds of millions. Led by the Dragon King of the Four Seas, hundreds of millions of various Dragon Races came to the human race. The scene is really spectacular, covering the sky and the sun. Why did Dragon Race come to the human race? And bring so many tribesmen with it? Could it be? I looked at the divine dragon covering the sky and the sun, and suddenly frowned. Then, he gradually disappeared. The human race doesn't know him, but dragon race does. Especially the dragon king of the four seas, who has seen him more than once. So in order not to be recognized, he had to hide. Dragon king of the four seas, please come quickly. Tang Wu has been waiting for a long time. Tang Wu flew into the sky and said happily facing the dragon king of the four seas. Now that the Dragon King of the Four Seas is here, and he brings so many Dragon Races with him. Apparently, Dragon Race agreed with his suggestion. Ha ha. The big leader is too polite. I won't beat around the bush, old dragon. Let's complete the previous agreement quickly, shall we? The Dragon King of the East China Sea turned into a human form and laughed. We are just waiting for the Dragon King to say this. Let's start now. Tang Wu waved his hand and invited the Dragon King of the Four Seas to come to a special room. What makes this house special is not how luxurious it is. On the contrary, it is very crude. However, it is very extraordinary. This is the first house of the human race. 
When it was built, it became a meritorious spirit treasure. But since then it has become a symbol, commemorating and witnessing the beginning of the human race. In other words, no one has lived in this house since it was built. This is the first time, it's on. It can be seen that Tang Wu attaches great importance to dragon race this time. Above the door of the house, there is a plaque. But this is not a real plaque, but a text steel created by Tang Wu. This monument is also a meritorious spirit treasure. Opening the room, there was a very simple piece of bark clothing hanging inside. This piece of clothing is also a merit spirit treasure, the first piece of clothing invented by Tang Wu. Next to the clothes is an ear of corn. Also dark yellow, glowing with golden light. Yes, this is also a meritorious spirit treasure. Outside the house, there was a bunch of flames. This is the first flame taken out by the human race, and it also carries merit. Although it is not a meritorious spirit treasure, it is eternal. Represents light and warmth. These are meritorious spirit treasures, but Tang Wu never thought of using them as law treasures. Because this belongs to every human race, they are symbols. And to be honest, they're not that powerful. But their symbolism is extraordinary. The big leader is really enviable. Looking at the simple house and the furnishings inside, the dragon king of the East China Sea said with envy. Can you not be envious? This is the merit spirit treasure rewarded by heaven. Although it has no power, the meaning is quite different. Even if he was asked to trade the crystal palace, he would be willing to take a lot of treasures. Dragon King, you're welcome. The human race only has this little wealth, and it can't be compared with dragon race. Tang Wu shook his head and said with a bitter smile. This is really all the human race can take advantage of. Or, add his Wuji knife. Others, there is really nothing to show for it. Ha ha. Old Long understands the difficulty of the big boss. Don't worry, big boss, after this matter is completed, I, Dragon Race, will provide enough weapons for the human race. The Dragon King of the East China Sea said happily. As soon as he said this, not to mention Tang Wu, but also the other three Dragon Kings all looked sideways. It feels like the first day I met the Dragon King of the East China Sea. Dragon Race is very stingy. They like to collect wealth and whoever dares to take advantage of their treasures will be like killing him. The Dragon King of the East China Sea actually promised to provide weapons to the human race, as if the sun was shining in the west. Thank you very much. If so, I, the human race, will definitely repay you. Tang Wu did not show off. The human race really needs these weapons. Although there are treasure hunting rats in the human race now. In the past thousand years, a lot of good things have been found for the human race but it's a drop in the bucket. Moreover, most of the truly good things in heaven and earth now have owners. The so-called good things that the treasure hunting rats find are only in the eyes of the human race. In the eyes of dragon race and monster race, they are actually almost like garbage. Okay, let's get started quickly. What we brought this time are all dragon races with pure blood. The dragon king of the East China Sea couldn't wait to say. That's right, Anyone with a trace of impure blood is not allowed to come. The other three dragon kings also said. Tang Wu was also a little moved by dragon race's sincerity. The so-called dragon race with pure blood is the dragon inherited from the ancient dragon race and does not evolve from other races. Moreover, they are the offspring of dragons and dragons. This is very sincere. Thank you to the four dragon kings. Tang Wu and the human race are grateful. In this case, let's ask the four dragon kings to divide the dragon race into 49 teams and go to different tribes. When it came to business, Tang Wu said seriously. There is no room for laughter in this matter. Okay, old long, let's make arrangements now. The dragon king of the four seas handed over his hands, and then strode out of the door. Hold head high. A dragon roar resounded throughout the world and then the dragon king of the four seas divided all the dragon races into 49 teams and ordered them to go to different tribes. This scene all fell into my eyes. I am a destined saint, and now I am also an apex level quasi saint who has killed three corpses. But he was also a little confused. What kind of trouble would this dragon race have with the human race? Especially when he saw many dragon races bleeding themselves and then teaching the blood to humans, his eyes almost dropped. What's going on? 10,000 beasts ran wildly in his heart. Bleeding dragon race. Which race dares? 
Since the creation of opening heaven, not even the demon ancestor Rahu has dared to blatantly bleed dragon race. What's more, are you still willing to let dragon race bleed on its own? What's going on between the human race and the dragon race? He decided to continue reading. Soon, something even more incredible happened to him. After those humans get the dragon's blood, someone will come over immediately to take them over. Then someone used special techniques to inject the dragon's blood into the human body. And those positions seemed very special, but he couldn't understand what was going on. He is a quasi-sage, and there are very few things in the world that he doesn't know about. However, he really couldn't understand dragon race and the behavior of the human race. I don't even understand what's so special about those positions in the human race. After all, he had never come across the theory of acupuncture points. A human race doesn't need much dragon blood, basically a few milliliters are enough. One dragon supplies ten human races, and there is absolutely no obstacle at all. Even if they scratched their skin, they would bleed much more than this. After all, a dragon is hundreds of meters long and contains dozens of milliliters of blood. What does it count? Tang Wu, is this method really okay? The dragon king of the East China Sea asked worriedly as he saw all the humans who had been injected with dragon blood blushing. Dragon king, don't worry. I have performed the deduction dozens of times and there is absolutely no problem. Tang Wu said confidently. That's right, it's full of confidence. In fact, this method is said to be pioneered by him. In fact, someone had proposed this method in the previous life. In order to enhance their physical fitness, some martial arts practitioners condense the blood of various beasts into acupuncture points. Of course, most of them failed. However, there are still very few people who succeed. And all successful people, without exception, have greatly increased their physical fitness. Tang Wu once went to study specifically, but those people didn't teach him the methods at all. Because the failure rate in previous lives was too high, and those who succeeded were unwilling to tell the secret of success, Tang Wu did not try. But before he achieved Tai Yi Scattered Immortal, he had already deduced this method. And to avoid any surprises, he performed it dozens of times. With his Tai Yi Scattered Immortal cultivation, it is not difficult to deduce the secrets of mortals. Sure enough, it didn't take long for someone to succeed. Roar. The successful humans roared like dragons and elephants, and their whole body was filled with energy and blood. Bang. Perhaps unable to hold back his blood, the human race waved his hand and hit a big rock. Crackling. The big stone shattered and tiny pieces flew everywhere. What a powerful force. The human looked at his hands in surprise, as if he couldn't believe that he did it. Just now, he only used physical strength. Even the dragon king of the four seas was surprised. They knew that it was absolutely impossible for the human body to achieve this level. But can just a few drops of dragon's blood make human beings so reborn? What's even more surprising is me, he feels like he doesn't recognize this world anymore. Everything that happened before his eyes felt so new to him. Heaven and earth are so strange. The human race only absorbed a few drops of dragon blood, and it was not a real dragon race. Is it really okay for your bodies to be so powerful? Bang bang bang. Before they could continue to be surprised, the Wu tribe made a series of sounds just now. Apparently, the same thing happened as before. But the result is the same. Stones are destined to be crushed under their hands. Thanks to the cooperation of dragon race, things went smoothly and quickly. On the first day, half of the people completed blood condensation. The next day continued. At night, all the races had received the baptism of dragon blood, condensed the dragon blood in their acupoints, and completed an almost reborn change. It took two days for the human race to transform, and I also observed it for two days. He even studied it secretly while waiting for someone to fall asleep. But, he still didn't understand. Dragon King, now that the transformation has been completed, tell the world at noon tomorrow. Tang Wu suggested as he saw that it was getting late. That's how it should be. The Dragon King of the Four Seas had no objection. After all, it was inappropriate to tell the world at night. Perhaps Tang Wu was influenced by his previous life and habitually set the time at noon. Early the next morning, the human race and dragon race got up early, waiting for the ceremony to announce the world. 
But something different this time is that Tang Wu also prepared a stone platform, as well as three animals and an incense table. This is something that has never appeared before. Whether it is dragon race or the human race, I feel very curious. At three quarters of noon, Tang Wu led the dragon king of the four seas onto the stone platform. Lighting three sticks of incense, Tang Wu bowed three times to heaven and earth. Today, I burn incense and pray to warn the heaven and the earth. Dragon race baptizes the human race with blood. From now on, the human race should respect it as the descendant of the dragon. Please take a lesson from heaven. I, dragon race, are connected by blood with the human race, and we share the same luck. Dragon race should protect the human race, and keep everything going smoothly. The dragon king of the four seas obviously also understood that dragon race could not ride on the human race, so he put both parties on an equal footing. Boom. Heaven recognized it and issued a warning. At the same time, a large amount of merit descended again. I kind of understand why those two guys, Dongwang Taiyi and Dijin, are targeting the human race. I, who was watching on the sidelines, was dumbfounded at the heavenly merits and murmured to himself. This fool thing also has merit. Are you kidding me? It doesn't matter that the human race and dragon race concluded a contract with merit. After all, this is the first time such a contract has appeared in the world. However, this human race is connected by blood with dragon race. What merits does it have? But God doesn't care about him, and the merits should be given anyway. This time all Terran and dragon race are benefiting again. That's right, all of dragon race. However, the bloodletting dragon race gains more merit. Without bleeding, slightly less. The merit is not only enough to drain blood, but also improves the cultivation level a lot. Even in some dragon races, the bloodline has been slightly purified. This kind of purification is closer to the ancestral dragon. It's not that dragon race's bloodline is impure. Heaven recognizes it and sends merit. This matter is finally completed. But it wasn't over yet, the sky shone again, and a small black yellow mass of merit descended again. But this time, the only place where the merits fell was Tang Wu and the altar he built. I won't talk about the merits of rewarding Tang Wu, but the stone platform, incense table, incense and three animals of the altar have all become instruments of merit. Lao Tzu. He was speechless. The dragon king of the four seas also covered his face, this was so irritating to the dragon. Merit spirit treasure, when did it become so worthless? Dragon race left, but not all of them left. A large number of people remained in the human race. Now they and the human race really share weal and woe. The more prosperous the human race is, the more prosperous they will be. Therefore, dragon race can only protect the safety of the human race as much as possible and provide assistance for the growth of the human race. After a period of time, dragon race continued to send many weapons. There are mortal weapons and there are various law treasure immortal weapons. These magical weapons that are very rare in the human race are actually worthless in dragon race. Unless it is spirit treasure level, dragon race is not worth watching at all. Ordinary immortal weapons are not as powerful as their dragon claws, horns and teeth. Even the dragon scales cannot be broken by ordinary immortal weapon. However, the human race was overjoyed and liked these weapons very much. It's not that the human race is hopeless, it's that the human race is really poor and has never seen any good things. These weapons are already very rare magical weapons for the human race. Didn't you see that as an apex level celestial immortal, these weapons were all made of ordinary iron. Although there is a saying that weapons have no soul, because they hold spirit communication. However, good materials cannot be ignored. The human race settled down again and started practicing with all their strength. Even hunting, I rarely go out. For this reason, Tang Wu captured many wild beasts and raised them among the human race. It can also be regarded as the beginning of livestock and poultry breeding, so that humans no longer have to risk their lives to hunt. At the same time, reduce conflicts between humans and other races. Of course, it is still necessary to gain a wave of merit. Although there are not as many cultivated corns, mosquitoes are still meat no matter how small they are. Now, except for me who often wanders around the tribe, the human race behaves very low-key and quiet. A year passed in the blink of an eye. Tang Wu was practicing that day when he suddenly felt a huge momentum coming straight towards the human race. 
They are all great, Principal Golden Immortal. What happened? Tang Wu was afraid that something would happen and immediately flew out. But after he came out, he immediately shrank his eyes and looked at the great Principal Golden Immortal flying from the sky with some shock. Phoenix, Kilin and White Tiger. Tang Wu was surprised and at the same time ecstatic. He was worried about not being able to find them and complete the four elephants in five directions of the human race. Unexpectedly, they delivered it to the door themselves. He once asked Dragon Race, but Dragon Race told him that with his Taiyi scattered immortal cultivation, it would take at least several hundred years to reach the Phoenix, Kilin and other tribes. This made Tang Wu silent for a while, so he planned to wait until his cultivation level improved before convincing the Phoenix, Kilin and other tribes. He is not willing to waste hundreds or even thousands of years at this critical moment. But I didn't expect that someone would give me a pillow if I was really sleepy. I, Tang Wu, the great leader of the human race, would like to thank you for your compliments. Tang Wu said loudly immediately. No matter what, these big fish cannot be allowed to escape. This is related to the stability of the human race and the continuity of luck. Even if they run away, they must be brought back. A, is this the human race? Did our ancestors ask us to come here? Kilin stopped and poked the white tiger next to him and asked. The ancestor he was talking about was the ancestor of the white tiger clan, the ancestor of the white tiger who guarded the west pole. Although Kilin is still the leader of beasts, its current strength is indeed no stronger than that of the white tiger clan. Moreover, the ancestor of white tiger was willing to sacrifice his freedom to guard the west pole for the sake of the Kilin clan. Therefore, the Kilin clan also respects the white tiger ancestor as their ancestor. If this is really a human race, then there is nothing wrong with it. White Tiger stared ahead, surrounded by the evil aura of ancient gold. White Tiger belongs to gold and is in charge of evil spirits in the West. Ancient gold is mainly responsible for killing. But they were fighting on behalf of heaven. Although they were killing evil spirits, they did not bear any karma. Feng Su ordered me to come here, and this is also the place. So, it should be right. The person who spoke was a flying bird. He has a body like a phoenix and a head like a bird. His feathers are all fiery red, surrounded by red transparent of flame. This is the phoenix clan, vermilion bird. In that case, let's go there. Kilin said, and flew towards Tangwu first. They were originally ordered to come to the human race. Since the place was right, the owner of the place invited them there. Naturally, they will not refuse. They are all great principal golden immortal, so they are naturally very fast. Especially Vermilion Bird, although not as fast as his brother Golden Winged Rock, his speed is unrivaled in the world. We, Kilin, Vermilion Bird, and White Tiger, have met the leader of the human race. When the three of them came to Tang Wu, they were not arrogant and saluted politely. Before they came, their respective ancestors had warned them not to be rude. Therefore, even if they don't know what is so great about the Taoist clan, they don't dare to disobey their ancestors' orders. I have met three Taoist brothers. Can you please come to my human tribe to talk to me? Tang Wu stretched out his hand in a gesture of invitation. Thank you, chief. I'm sorry for waiting for you. Please. It's also the primitive creatures who don't have too many twists and turns in doing things, and everything they do is very direct. It may be a little domineering, but it is very direct. We came to the human race on the order of our ancestors to serve the human race. Although I don't know why, I asked the big leader to make arrangements for us. White Tiger said with a sinister aura. However, this kind of evil spirit is inherent in itself, not evil. Tang Wu's eyes widened. He thought he would have to spend more words to convince them, but he didn't expect them to propose it themselves. He looked at Kilin and Vermilion Bird again and found that they nodded in return. Apparently, they were given the same orders. Ha, huh, thank you for your love, the human race is flattered. To be honest, I was just thinking about asking the three tribes for help, and they came at the right time. Tang Wu did not mince words, and he had to be straightforward when dealing with straightforward people. Speaking, that's it, our human race wants to establish four sacred beasts and five guardian beasts of five directions and five virtues. Among them, the azure dragon of Yimu in the east, the ancient gold white tiger in the west, the vermilion bird in the south and the kilin in the central wutu. I don't know how many of you are willing. Quote. 
As soon as Tang Wu said this, the scene fell into silence, and Vermilion Bird, White Tiger and Qilin looked at each other. That's it. Qilin asked in disbelief. They originally thought they would endure hardships, but they didn't expect it to be the case at all. Yes, the dragon is good luck, the phoenix is auspicious, the unicorn is auspicious, and the white tiger is evil. As long as you gather enough northern Guishui holy beasts to do good, you can form the four elephant sacred beasts and the five directions and five virtues guardian beasts. Tang Wu very sure. With all the power in the world, no one can actually predict the future of the human race. Even the Nua Empress, who is saint, cannot deduce it. After all, before the human race came to prominence, the law of heaven automatically closed off everything about the human race. However, races such as dragons, phoenixes, and unicorns are deeply involved with the human race, and it is God who gives them a chance to make atonement for their crimes. So at certain times, the human race will appeal to their whims. Just like Laozi Taiching. Coupled with the fact that Dragon Race took the lead in making a contract with the human race, it led to changes in luck and merit. How could Feng Zhu and White Tiger Ancestor not notice it at all? So, they decided to race Dragon and form an alliance with the humans. Only then did Vermilion Bird, Tukilin and White Tiger arrive. Originally, they had prepared to suffer hardships, but they didn't expect that it was not the case at all. What's there to hesitate about? We are willing to protect the human race's sacred beasts and the four sacred beasts, and let heaven and earth learn from them. Looking at each other, the three sacred beasts immediately agreed. After being announced to the world, the three sacred beasts became one of the four sacred beasts of the human race and the guardian beasts of the five directions and five virtues. Of course, merit is inevitable. This made them even more surprised, and suddenly they felt that their previous countless years had been in vain. The four great saint beasts and the five directions and five virtues guardian beasts are still one short of the northern Guishui. According to the original trajectory, it should be black tortoise. When my strength increases, I will go to Beihai to have a look. By the way, I will meet the black turtle in Beihai. Tang Wu thought silently in his heart. I won't say much about black tortoise, but the most important thing is black tortoise. This black turtle is also unlucky. It has existed since the beginning of opening heaven, but it has never been able to transform. And with the growth of cultivation and age, the body size is getting bigger and bigger. Later, Gong Gong angrily attacked Mount Bujo, causing the sky to collapse and the earth to collapse, causing the Tianhe River to flow backward. For a time, all life was in ruins, and the heaven and earth tilted. As a result, the sky was not close to the northwest, so the sun, moon and stars moved away. There is not enough land in the southeast, so hundreds of rivers flow into it. So Empress Nua beheaded the black turtle and used its limbs to turn into pillars of heaven to support the four extremities of heaven and earth. Use his turtle shell as a container to refine the colorful sacred stones used to mend the sky. It can be said that the black turtle was completely dismembered. Since the black turtle was born, he has not participated in fights or harmed living creatures, but he ended up like this. So even though he died, he still harbored resentment, and his resentment soared to the sky, so much so that the entire Beihai was shrouded in resentment. Not only did Beihai become a barren land, but all life became extinct. It has even become a forbidden area for life, and almost no life can survive there. Even if it has been a great principal golden immortal for a long time, it will be contaminated by resentment if it is not protected by spirit treasure. It can be said that Zon Turtle died unjustly, tragically and pitifully. He has been plotted by heaven since he was born, and his death is unclear. Of course, Tang Wu knew very well that he was not capable of saving the Black Turtle at least now. However, Tang Wu wanted to see this Black Turtle. But Tang Wu didn't know that Shuangui had already noticed it. Although he didn't know where the danger came from, the sense of crisis in his heart became more and more serious as time went by. It seemed that death could come to him at any time. But he didn't know where the danger came from, so he was very agitated. It seems that I am facing a catastrophe and will inevitably die. But my Shuangui lineage cannot be cut off, and I, Shuangui, cannot take advantage of others. Shuangui was heartbroken and made a decision. He peeled off the turtle shell on his back and turned into a small black turtle. Then he cut off his tail and turned into a spiritual snake. 
In order to make up for the shortcomings of the little black turtle and the spirit snake, it cut off one of its own legs and turned it into flesh and blood to nourish them. Since the little black turtle and the spirit snake are both transformed from the body of the black turtle, they are originally one body. Therefore, they were entangled together after they were born. The black turtle is carrying a snake, and the snake is wrapped around the turtle's body. My life is black tortoise. Black turtle and spirit snake spoke at the same time, announcing that they were one person from now on. Boom. Black tortoise is born, and God approves of it. So, a blessing fell on black tortoise. Black tortoise, who was just born, has been directly upgraded to the level of great principal golden immortal. Moreover, the turtle and snake are integrated into one, capable of both offense and defense. In the great principal golden immortal, it is also the best. Black tortoise, you will not be allowed to leave the North Sea from now on. Black tortoise watched black tortoise being born and warned sternly. Yes, my child obeys. Black tortoise did not object, so he restrained himself and sank to the bottom of the North Sea, disappearing. Watching black tortoise sink to the bottom of the sea, black tortoise's eyes were like lightning, looking into the sky and into the distance. I want to see who wants my old turtle's life. Shuangui snorted coldly, looking forward to death in his heart. No matter who it is, he will not make it easy for the other person. Just because he doesn't kill doesn't mean he's easy to bully. Tang Wu didn't know all this, not even Nua. No one knows except Tiandao and Hong Jun, who is suitable for Tiandao. But, how could they say that? I am afraid that Tang Wu could not have imagined that the northern Guishui black tortoise, which he had longed for, had just been born at this time. With the birth of black tortoise, azure dragon, vermilion bird, white tiger and Kilin allied themselves with the human race, and the way of heaven became more perfect. I finally saw my chance to become a saint. So that's it. The opportunity for me to become a saint turns out to be in the human race. I established the human sect and educated the human race. I suddenly understood. However, he did not want to protect the human race, nor did he want to work hard to civilize the human race. He wanted to become a saint through human teaching, but he didn't want to put too much thought into the human race. Therefore, he decided to accept a disciple from the human race, which would be regarded as civilizing the human race. But who will be accepted? I constantly patrol the human tribes to select my disciples. He examined many people, but was not satisfied with them. Until one day, a newborn baby appeared in his eyes. As soon as the baby was born, I felt a rush of emotion. After deducing, I discovered that I have a master-disciple relationship. This boy is born with intelligence, he is dark on the outside but beautiful on the inside, so he deserves to be my disciple. I nodded with satisfaction and decided to accept him as my disciple. This baby is the great master Shuandu. In fact, fate is not a definite thing. As long as you are willing, you can have a destiny even if you don't have a destiny. If you don't want to, you may or may not be destined. Just like the leader of Tongtian, there is no distinction between teachings. Many of his disciples had no master-disciple relationship with him, but he still treated them equally and did not hesitate to teach. The Yellow Dragon perfected being in Golden Immortal 12 actually has no master-disciple relationship with Yuanxi Heavenly Venerable. But Wanglong perfected being kept begging, Yuanxi Heavenly Venerable still accepted Wanglong perfected being. The reason why I accepted Master Shuandu was just to prove that I had civilized the human race. Moreover, Archmage Shuandu is extremely talented and is the perfect candidate to pass on the Taoism. Fate or not is just an excuse. It doesn't really matter. It's a pity that I made a good calculation. But is it really that simple? I came to the courtyard unhurriedly, looking like a fairy. When I saw Master Shuandu and his mother, I slapped them on the head. I am Tai Ching, and I am very happy to hear that my wife's family is happy to have Linner. I said kindly, with a gentle smile on his face, which made people fall in love with him at first sight. In addition, he came to congratulate him, so Shuandu's mother quickly responded, Immortal Master is right, thank you Immortal Master. But she didn't know who Tai Ching Laozi was. She only knew that he came to the human tribe a few years ago and was an immortal. But no matter who he is, since he comes to congratulate him, she will not be rude. After Shuandu's mother returned the gift, Tai Ching Laozi smiled proudly. It seems that this woman understands the truth, so that's great. 
However, he came here for a purpose, and coupled with his status as a saint, he has a natural sense of superiority. So he directly stated his intention, Your Majesty and I have a master-disciple relationship. I want to accept Your Majesty as my disciple. I wonder what my wife's family wants. He thought he accepted a disciple, but the other party was not grateful and was crying and begging him to accept him. So he stood calmly, waiting for Xuandu's mother to kneel down and beg him. But obviously, he thought wrong. Becoming your disciple, that won't work. My son wants to become the great leader's disciple. Xuandu's mother refused without any room for negotiation. I had already prepared my words, but when I suddenly heard Xuandu's mother's words, I almost lost my breath. How did he know that Tang Wu was not just the leader of the human race? He is also the God and faith in the hearts of human beings. It was Tang Wu who helped mankind get out of the predicament and gave mankind food, clothing, housing, and fire supplies. No longer eating hair and drinking blood. Moreover, the martial Tao and immortal Tao techniques were also passed down, so that humans no longer have to worry about losing their lives at any time. Therefore, the greatest wish of every human race is to worship Tang Wu as their teacher, other people. Step aside. What is Tai Ching Laozi, what is Yuan Shi Heavenly Venerable? Even if Empress Nua comes, the human race will have to consider it. Empress Nua made humans out of clay and created the human race. She is the holy mother of the human race. But Tang Wu allowed the human race to survive and live better. It can be said that in the human race, Tang Wu's prestige is not much lower than that of Nua. I wanted to accept her son as my apprentice. How could Xuandu's mother agree? I was confused. He thought of many situations, but he just didn't think of this situation. As a Tai Ching Lao Su, I don't know how many people are crying and clamoring to be his disciple. However, it is not easy to use it in the human race. But as expected of me, I can think quickly. The big leader never accepts apprentices. Will he accept your son? I suppressed the unhappiness in my heart and said with a smile on my face. That's true. Xuandu's mother lowered her head and said with some disappointment. Tang Wu was dedicated to the human race. He spent all his time either practicing, making suggestions for the human race, or creating exercises in a better living environment for the human race. And Tang Wu would also pass on the skills to the human race without reservation, but he had never accepted a disciple. Therefore, Xuandu's mother did not have confidence that Tang Wu would accept Xuandu as his disciple. In that case, why don't you accept me as your master? Although I dare not say that I am invincible in the world, I am still a master that can be counted. If Xuandu becomes my master, I can guarantee that he will become famous all over the world in the future. I said confidently. He does have this confidence and the qualifications to be confident. As the head of the three pure ones, Tianding Saint. He is confident that no one is more noble than himself, and his apprentices are absolutely enviable. He thought that if he said this, Xuandu's mother should bow down and bow down, right? But, no, you are not a human race. If my son wants to worship you as his teacher, he needs the consent of the big leader. The big leader is the co-leader of the human race, so he has the final say. Xuandu's mother is also an upright person, but she is so upright. I want to vomit blood. But what could he say? You can't force others, right? This goes against his way of doing nothing and would be ridiculous. I am so dignified and so pure that I force myself to accept a disciple. He couldn't afford to lose this person. So he had no choice but to take the child and his mother to find Tang Wu. Old man, what do you mean? Seeing me leading a human woman with a child in her arms, Tang Wu immediately raised his eyebrows and asked in a bad tone. Of course he knew that it was impossible for me to do that kind of thing, and he had even guessed the purpose of my coming. However, Tang Wu couldn't let him achieve it so easily. The chief has misunderstood. I am here to take this child as my disciple. But I need your permission. I am bringing the child and his mother here. I blushed. He has never been so suspicious. Pass. If this spreads out, where will he put his face? He was afraid of losing face, and Tang Wu also cared about the reputation of human women. So he didn't continue to tease me and nodded to show his understanding. I see, I was overthinking it. Tang Wu said apologetically. That's it. I said quickly, he didn't want Tang Wu to think too much. It's shameless. It's not impossible for you to accept my human child as your disciple. 
but I have to make an agreement. Tang Wu smiled slightly and stared at me closely. Looking at Tang Wu's eyes, I felt a twitch in my heart, feeling that things were not that simple. But for the sake of his plan to become a saint, he still bravely agreed. Okay, then tell me, how should we make a three-part agreement? I'm grinding my teeth. He has never been forced like this before. Even Monster Race Heaven and the Witch Clan would not dare to do this to him. But what can be done? His sainthood also depends on the human race. Unless he doesn't want to become a saint, he has to endure it for the time being. Okay, I'm happy. Although I don't know my identity, I also know that I have great divine ability. If you accept me as a human disciple, I won't dare to embarrass you. Tang Wu smiled very sincerely, which made me feel better. I thought to myself, that's pretty much it. But what Tang Wu said next made him vomit three liters of blood. First, you need to teach him in the human race. At least, he needs to be in the human race before he reaches adulthood. Second, this child worships you as his teacher, but he is still a human race. You must not restrict him from contributing to the human race. Third, you need to give everything you have to others and don't keep anything private. Tang Wu's three points, in fact, the third point does not matter at all, what is really important is the first two points. Because since I have accepted disciples, in order to pass on the mantle, he will also give all his money to teach them. The first two points are different. Let's talk about the first point first. If Xuandu is taken away by me, will he still identify with the human race in his heart? Even if he agrees, he is closer to me. Therefore, Xuandu must grow up in the human race so that he can recognize his human identity in his heart. With the first point laying the foundation, the second point becomes a matter of course. Xuandu recognizes his identity as a human race, so naturally he will not ignore the human race. Therefore, Tang Wu requested that I cannot restrict Xuandu from contributing to the human race. What I cannot accept are precisely the first two points. I am in a dilemma, but he has no problem with the third condition. But it was really difficult for him to agree to the first two conditions. If Xuandu grew up in the human race, then he must identify with his human identity. Once the human race is in trouble, Xuandu will do its best. And once Xuandu is in trouble, does he, the master, want to help? Obviously it is necessary, otherwise who would follow you? Old man, I only have these three conditions. If I agree, Tang Wu will have no problem with it. Tang Wu made it clear that if I agree with these three conditions, he will allow Xuandu to become a disciple. If I don't allow it, it is obvious that he will not let Xuandu become a disciple. Of course, I can also give up Xuandu as my apprentice and take in other human beings. But would it be useful to change someone else? Obviously, the result would still be the same if it were someone else. Either agree or not accept a disciple, there is no third way. These three conditions of yours are too harsh, I can't agree to it. I said with an ugly face. Then please come back. This child will be taught by my human race. Tang Wu answered simply, leaving no room for negotiation. You, how can you be so unreasonable? I am Tai Ching, how dare you refuse me? Although I had been mentally prepared, I couldn't help but get angry after being rejected so simply. Just because he's doing nothing doesn't mean he won't get angry. So he directly revealed his identity, trying to use his identity to oppress Tang Wu and force Tang Wu to submit. But is it possible? Tang Wu had already guessed his identity. It was because he guessed his identity that Tang Wu made such a request. Otherwise, he would not have made such a request. It turns out to be Pengu Zhengzong, a senior Laozi who is one of the three pure ones. Tang Wu said excitedly, pretending not to know, with a look of shock on his face. Seeing Tang Wu's excited expression, I smiled contemptuously. He felt proud in his heart. Now that I know my identity, I don't believe you dare to make such a request. Being able to worship me as your teacher is a blessing for your human race. So he nodded arrogantly, stroking his beard and said, Yes, it's me. Can you agree now? Yes, of course I agree. Being able to worship Sanqing as my teacher is a blessing for my human race. As long as I can agree to my conditions, my human race will never dare to reject Tai Ching Laozi. Tang Wu said very excitedly and extremely honored. When I heard the first half of the sentence, I was very proud and thought, I knew it would be like this. But what Tang Wu said next made his face even darker. 
After all, Tang Wu still had to make himself agree to his conditions. You, don't know what is good or bad. Do you believe that I can make you completely destroyed and turn into ashes right now? I said with a gloomy face and a cold voice. Who is he? Who in the world dares to talk to him like this? Tang Wu, a small human race, dared to provoke him again and again. He couldn't wait to crush Tang Wu to ashes immediately. Of course I believe it. It's easy for me, Tai Ching, to kill me, and it's even effortless to destroy the human race. However, I, the human race, are strong-willed and would rather die than surrender. You can kill me, but even if I die, don't even think about it. Except my human race is a disciple. Even if you destroy my human race, my human race will never surrender. The human race has nothing but strong bones. Tang Wu said loudly and righteously. Would rather die than surrender. The human race is full of blood. For the development of the human race, the human race can work hard, show weakness to others, and even complement the witch race. However, the human race cannot lose its dignity or its backbone. The human race does not need arrogance, but it needs pride. Even if you are Tai Ching, or even Saint, you cannot oppress my human race. You. Tai Ching Laozi raised his hand to hit, but he put it down again halfway up. Tang Wu couldn't kill him, and he didn't dare to kill him either. He didn't dare to kill Tang Wu not because of how strong Tang Wu was, how much backing he had, or even because of Tang Wu's merits. Although Tang Wu has many merits, most people in the world cannot bear the karma caused by killing such a person with great merits. But he is too pure and I am not afraid, because he possesses the merits of opening heaven, and his true merits are immeasurable. Even if Tang Wu is killed, it will have an impact on him, but it won't be too big. What he really cares about is the human race and the opportunity to become a saint. His opportunity to become a saint lies in the human race. If Tang Wu is killed, then he and the human race will fight to the death, and there will be no room for slowdown. When the time comes, let alone the establishment of the Renjiao, it will be good if the human race does not fight for him. He has been in the human race for so long, and he is very aware of Tang Wu's status and prestige in the human race. Now Tang Wu has been elected as the leader and the co-leader of the human race. Tang Wu must not be killed. Senior Tai Ching, if you want to kill or behead him, please do as he pleases. However, Tang Wu will never compromise on this matter. I would rather have the jade broken than live in ruins. Tang Wu stood up straight, showing no intention of flinching. Even if you die, you must die standing. Big leader, this woman has caused you trouble. She deserves death. The human race cannot live without a big leader. It is all the trouble caused by women and children. Woman, I apologize to you. Xuandu's mother burst into tears. He kowtowed heavily to Tang Wu. Get up, humans are not allowed to kneel. Remember, humans are not allowed to kneel to anyone except their parents. Tang Wu's words were very harsh. Yes, big leader. I, the human race, will not kneel, and would rather die standing. Xuandu's mother stood up and nodded to Tang Wu solemnly, making a solemn promise. Okay, this is my human race. Tang Wu said happily. Xuandu's mother received Tang Wu's approval, and then turned to look at me. You want to accept my son as your disciple. Just go ahead and dream. Even if the woman and my son die, they will never involve the chief. After Xuandu's mother finished speaking, she lifted Xuandu and threw it to the ground. Obviously, she planned to throw Xuandu to death and let me lose everything. Children are the darlings of their parents, and they are also a piece of flesh that has fallen from their mother. For a mother to make such a decision, you can imagine how much courage it takes and how much grief she has to endure. But she still didn't hesitate. Stop. Looking at her actions, Tang Wu couldn't understand what she was thinking and immediately stopped her. If Tang Wu could discover it, Lao Su would naturally discover it too. Seeing that Zan was about to be thrown to death, he could no longer care about anything else. Xuandu had a master-disciple relationship with him, and was the key to his establishment of the Renren cult. How could he watch Xuandu be thrown to death? Whoosh! Even Tang Wu didn't see clearly how he moved before others caught Xuandu. Not catching it with mana, but catching it with both hands. Seeing me catching Xuandu, Tang Wu also breathed a sigh of relief. He didn't want the human race to do such a thing for himself. What's more, Xuandu is just an innocent child. Looking at Zandu, who had red lips and white teeth, 
Zandu's black and white eyes also looked at him. Only at this moment did he understand how high Tang Wu's prestige was in the human race. Okay, I agree, I finally compromised, because he understood that if he did not compromise, he would not be able to accept the human race and establish a human religion. Bone is the scaffolding of the human body, and all muscles and meridians are attached to the bones. Strong bones make the body strong. If you want to achieve an eternal body, you must first have indestructible bones. This is the practice method of Tang Wu's Gold Core 9 Turn Gong Tai True Immortal, forging bones into steel. Through constant tempering, the bones of the whole body are forged as hard as steel and immortal as gold. When it is completely successful, you can use the power exploded from the bones to evolve the gold core, thus promoting the improvement of the realm. His state of mind was not only inspired by Zhou Zhuan Zan Gong, but also drew on the Taoist martial arts, Yi Jin Jing, from previous lives. Note, Yi Jing Jin was written by Zi Ning perfected being of the Ming dynasty, not Shaolin Bodhidharma. It also includes the Marrow Cleansing Sutra, collectively known as the Yi Jin Jin Marrow Cleansing Sutra. Taoist martial arts emphasizes the unity of essence, qi and spirit, while Buddhist gate martial arts is mostly spiritual. Even Buddhist ascetics do it to temper their spirit. Therefore, the Taoist Yi Jin Shi Marrow Sutra requires the unity of essence, qi and spirit, and pursues the unified practice of maintaining health and longevity. Tang Wu's Gold Core 9 Transformations Gong uses forging bones to achieve the Tai Yi true immortal state, so it borrows many methods and concepts from the Yijin Marrow Cleansing Sutra. They all say that immortal muscles and jade bones are immortal, but don't you know that although jade is immortal, it is also easy to break. Therefore, Tang Wu's Gold Core 9 Turn skill must be forged again on the basis of immortal bones. Let the bones not only be immortal, but also indestructible. Immortal Tao uses spiritual energy to make the body immortal, while Martial Tao uses spiritual energy to open the body's seal and tap its own potential. It can be said that one is immortal by external forces, and the other is immortal by oneself. This is the difference between Immortal Tao and Martial Tao. After a long time, Tang Wu, who had completed his daily practice, opened his eyes. In an instant, two white lights burst out from his eyes, making the house look like daylight. Huh, it's been 20 years, I didn't expect it to be so difficult to forge bones. Tang Wu sighed. After 20 years of practice, not only had he not finished forging bones, he had not even completed a quarter of it. At this rate, it will take at least a hundred years to complete the bone forging chapter, and Gold Core will reach the realm of Tai Yi True Immortal in three turns. His speed can be said to be unprecedented, and it can scare a lot of people to death. It is estimated that even the ancestor Hong Jun would be jealous, saying that he did not level up so quickly. But Tang Wu is still dissatisfied, because time waits for no one, and there is less and less time left for the human race. He must have the strength to protect the human race before the Lich War. The human race can only rely on itself in the end. Otherwise, even if you become the protagonist of the world, you will still be just a plaything kept in captivity by the gods in the sky. Even if he succeeded in tricking me, Tai Ching, I had to protect the human race. But who cares about a world protagonist who has no strength and relies on the protection of others? And if you want to protect the human race, you must at least have the realm of a quasi-sage, or have the strength to fight against a quasi-sage. Otherwise, there is no way to guarantee the safety of the human race in the face of the monster race. Without becoming a quasi-sage, even the Great Principle Golden Immortal has no effect. Great Principle Golden Immortal in Monster Race, there are many. He is a quasi-sage who can make Monster Race a little more fearful. Although he was pressed for time, he had to leave the country today. Because today was the time he agreed with Tai Ching Laozi to allow Tai Ching Laozi to take Xuandu away. At the beginning, he made an agreement with Tai Ching Laozi that Xuandu must come of age in the human race, and I must also teach Xuandu in the human race. And today, 20 years later, is the moment when the agreement officially expires. When he arrived at my door, I was already waiting for him at the door with Xuandu. 20 years is just a blink of an eye for the immortal. But for a baby, it is enough to make him grow up. As an adult, Xuandu is steady and few words, but smart and wise. He looks dull, but he has a deep heart. Xuandu, I never imagined that you would grow up in a blink of an eye. Tang Wu sighed deeply, 
feeling the time passed too fast. Big Chief. Xuandu's eyes turned red. Although he did not shed tears, he was silently moved. Don't cry. Remember that you are the son of my human race. The human race bleeds without shedding tears. Today you will go back to Kunlun Mountain with Senior Taiching. It is your blessing, but there is a sentence you must remember. Tang Wu replied in the first half of the sentence he was feeling emotional, but the second half of the sentence was unusually harsh. Big leader, please give instructions. Unworthy descendants should listen to your teachings. Xuandu clasped his fists and lowered his head, listening attentively. You have to remember that you will always be a human being, and you have human blood flowing through your body. Your mother is a role model for the human race. You must be proud of her, and you must make her proud of you. Tang Wu was half encouraging and half stern. The way. Yes, Xuandu remembers that he will always be a human being. He will be proud of the human race and his mother. He will also make his people and his mother proud of me. No matter when, I will never forget it. Xuandu nodded heavily. Having lived in the human race for more than 20 years, the human race's spirit and thoughts have always influenced him. He has an unforgettable sense of identification with the human race. This is imprinted in the bones and does not change over time. Just like a person who grew up in China in his previous life and identified with his Yanwang bloodline. Even if you go abroad, even if you stay abroad for a lifetime, you will always remember that you are Chinese. They even educate their children and tell them that they are Chinese. This is recognition. Moreover, it is Chinese civilization, unique ancestral culture, root culture and ancestral beliefs and worship. Of course, those who abandon their ancestors and forget their ancestors are not worthy of being Chinese. Do Chinese people have no faith? No, the Chinese people have firmer beliefs than anyone else. Some people follow what they say. Others say that China has no faith, and they follow suit. It's just that foreigners believe in God, while Chinese people believe in their ancestors. Foreigners say they believe in God, but how many of them really believe in it? But the Chinese people are different. The Chinese people don't say it. But in my heart, my ancestors will always be indelible. Everything can be abandoned, but ancestors cannot be abandoned. In Chinese culture, there are ancestral houses, ancestral temples, and genealogy. All of this proves the firm belief of the Chinese people. Fallen leaves return to their roots. Many people who die abroad want to return their souls to their hometowns and be buried in front of their ancestors. This is faith. The same goes for Xuanxuandu. He deeply remembers that his mother is a human race, and he is also a human race. Engraved in the bones and integrated into the blood. Even if it takes thousands of years, I can't forget it. Very good, you make me very happy. Let's go with senior Taiching. The human race will take good care of your mother. After looking at Xuandu for a long time, Tang Wu said with reluctance. Yes, mother, I'll ask the chief to take care of you. Please tell my mother that her old man's son is unfilial. I will come back to see her soon and fulfill my filial piety in front of her. Xuandu, let's go. Let's go. Both people, including Tang Wu, had red eyes. Tang Wu thought that his heart was hard enough, and he could not shed tears despite the human race suffering so many casualties every year. But at this moment he realized, people are still people after all. During the conversation between Tang Wu and Zan Du, I didn't speak the whole time. Even though Tang Wu told Zan Du to remember that he was always a human being, he didn't speak. Cheer, let's go. After Tang Wu and Zan Du finished speaking, I sighed. To be precise, this Lao Tzu is not Lao Tzu's true self, and certainly not the clone that Tang Wu thought, but his good corpse. Although he is not the real person, it can be said that he is Lao Tzu. Although he was forced to agree to Tang Wu's conditions because of Xuandu, he really had nothing to say to Xuandu. Although he is not a qualified human religion leader, he is definitely a qualified master. Xuandu has practiced with him for 20 years, but after all, the time is still too short. So on the one hand, he needs to go back to body integrate with the deity, and on the other hand, he also needs to take Xuandu back to preach. I took Xuandu back, and Tang Wu fell into practice again. The human race also kept a low profile, rarely going out even for hunting. Now the human race is all focused on cultivation, working hard to improve their cultivation and accumulate strength. 
With the Gold Core 9 turn Kung Fu and the 9 turn Immortal Physique passed down by Tang Wu, as well as a lot of techniques from Dragon Race, the human race is now bursting with powerful energy and enthusiasm. But at this time, the Taiyi True Immortal Fox Demon was sent by Donglong Taiyi to deal with the human race. After witnessing the changes of the human race for thousands of years, he decided to return to Monster Race Heaven to report the situation of the human race to Donglong Taiyi. Although there may be penalties for not completing the mission, the monster race he brought has been almost completely destroyed. Although there are still two Taiyi scattered immortals, those celestial immortals have been destroyed. Coupled with the obstacles of the dragon race and the growth of human strength, it is no longer possible to complete Donglong Taiyi's mission. And the longer it goes on, the worse it gets. As a last resort, he decided to go back to monster race heaven first. The sky is 90,000 high, in the blink of an eye. Although the sky is very high, it is a place that is out of reach for mortals in their lifetime. But for the immortals, it comes in an instant. Returning to the monster race heaven, the fox demon immediately reported to Donglong Taiyi. I have met his majesty the heavenly emperor, his majesty the eastern emperor. Get up and talk, how are things going? Donglong Taiyi said directly. At this time, Di Jun should have spoken first. After all, Di Jun was the heavenly emperor. But the two brothers have a very good relationship and don't distinguish between them. So even if Donglong Taiyi does something inappropriate sometimes, he won't be angry. This, the fox demon didn't know how to answer. You won't destroy the human race, will you? I warned you not to destroy the human race, otherwise Nuwa will not be able to explain to you. Tell me what's going on. Emperor Jun saw the fox demon's troubled expression and immediately scolded him angrily, wrote. He never thought that the fox demons and the others would fail. After all, it was impossible for the newly born human race to stop the said monster race. How could the human race have Taiyi true immortal and Taiyi scattered immortal in just a hundred years? Even now, more than a thousand years ago, he still does not believe that the human race possesses the Taiyi true immortal. With Celestial Immortal, Terran would be smiling. Indeed, no Taiyi True Immortal has appeared in the human race until now. Even the strongest Tang Wu is just Taiyi Scattered Immortal. Although he has combat power that surpasses Taiyi True Immortal, he can even fight Taiyi Golden Immortal twice. But, he is only Taiyi Scattered Immortal after all. It's just that he feels that the human race is looking down on the human race because they don't have Celestial Immortal. There are quite a few celestial immortals from the human race. No, no, it's, we failed. The fox demon lowered his head, feeling very fearful in his heart. He who said these words was already prepared to be punished. What did you say? Failed. There are so many of you, as well as your Taiyi true immortal and the three Taiyi scattered immortals, but you haven't brought any heavy casualties to the human race. Sure enough, after hearing these words, Donglong Taiyi it exploded immediately. You loser, why should I keep you? With that said, Donglong Taiyi was about to kill the fox demon immediately. Trash, disgraceful. Such a lineup actually failed to defeat the human race. Second brother, please don't mess around. But Di Jun was still relatively rational and stopped Donglong Taiyi from killing the fox demon. Then, he turned to look at the fox demon. Tell me, what is going on? The fox demon was already in despair, thinking that he would definitely die. After all, Donglong Taiyi wanted to kill him, and he didn't even dare to dodge. But he didn't expect that Di Jun would spare his life. However, when he heard Di Jun's question, he was still subconsciously startled. Then, he stopped talking and said, Your Majesty, I am not a complete failure, because I did kill many human beings, totaling more than 10 million. Oh, that's not bad. The mission has been completed quite well. Di Jun said with a smile. How many people are there in the human race? When he sent the fox demon down to the realm, there were only tens of millions of humans. In the past thousand years, based on monster race's reproduction rate, he would only have grown by half at most. Having killed tens of millions of humans, it can be said that the mission was completed perfectly. It did not embarrass the Nuwa Empress by annihilating the human race, but also taught the human race a profound lesson. In Di Jun's opinion, this was perfect. But your majesty, in the past thousand years, the number of humans has increased to one billion. The fox demon lowered his head even lower. What? A billion? 
Not only Donglong Taiyi was shocked, but even Emperor Jun stood up from the dragon chair. One billion is still a small number for monster race. But it's terrible to think about the time when humans were born. This is only a short thousand years, what if it takes ten thousand years, a hundred thousand years or even a million years? Monster race, has it been around for tens of millions of years? So, this human race really shouldn't be underestimated. Di Jun said with an ugly expression. Tell me, why is this happening? What is the strength of the human race? Donglong Taiyi was more direct and rude. He picked up the fox demon and interrogated him with an angry face. The strength of this human race is not worth mentioning. The strongest one is Taiyi scattered immortal. There are not many celestial immortals, and most of them are the first batch of humans who have received merit rewards. Although the number of subsequent humans is large, but most of them can't practice. Humans, don't worry about them. The fox demon knew that the two monster emperors didn't like humans, so they naturally tried their best to belittle them. However, he was right. The human race has gained merit many times. It is not surprising that celestial immortal and Taiyi scattered immortal can appear. Moreover, most of the human race cannot cultivate. No matter how many there are, they are just lambs. It seems that it is really not a cause for concern. Donglong Taiyi heard this, smiled disdainfully and contemptuously. In his heart, he was even more disdainful of the human race. Then why can't you stop them from multiplying? Di Jun asked, he thought more than Donglong Taiyi. Although most of the human race cannot practice cultivation, they reproduce too fast. Even if the proportion that can cultivate is not large, there can still be many cultivators from the huge base. It's Dragon Race. The fox demon suddenly raised his head and said bitterly. Thanks for watching subscribe and support my channel.